Hey, what up, what up? Just want to make a quick video. And I got to talk about this real quick. I got to talk about this real quick. Um, Man, I don't know what it is. But I feel like something, I don't know. They really got to get rid of this NBA All-Star Weekend. First of all, I didn't even know. It came and went so fast, like... Like, I didn't even realize it. Like, it came and went so fast. Like, I didn't even know they were... Even, I didn't even know they were having one this weekend. Like, it just came and went so fast. But, um... I did catch some glimpse of certain things during this All-Star Weekend. And it's been like this for a couple years. Couple, couple years. The writing been on the wall for this whole All-Star Weekend fiasco... It's not the same. I don't know what it is, but it's just not the same how it was years past and and everything. And I and it's been watered down for such a long time now. And it's just like really like the dunk. Let's just get into it. The dunk contest, trash, trash. I mean, it's just like players. First of all, for one. And I'm gonna give you a solution if if we were to get like if we if they want to gain back the the interest the interest of fans and everything, I could give you a solution or, or like a quick solution of what should happen. Like, but here's the problem with the dunk contest. Players, first of all, players are so focused on props. And things like that instead of just dunking instead of performing we want a performance we don't want like they're so concentrated on props and stuff like that we don't care about that bro like I understand if you you can have certain props and like you know to kind of you know enhance your you know the presentation but at the end of the day, we want a performance. We want to see the dunk. Like, your prop should not overshadow the dunk, if you get what I'm saying. Like, they're so focused heavily on the prop. Like, we don't care about that, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, certain, like, I understand. And I know what the prop, the whole props started from. It started from Dwight Howard and stuff like that. He started that whole kind of thing. I was like, all right, I get it. But. But during that time, it was new. It was innovative. I understand that. But then he also kind of, you know, he actually he actually performed. You know, he performed. You know, we saw performance. We saw real dunks like we've never seen before. And I get it. To a certain degree, I do think the dunk contest is kind of watered down. Because, like, at the same time, it's like, what else can you do? You, you feel me? What else can you do? It's like, you can't really do anything much. You know what I'm saying? Much you know, like, I guess, newer, innovative, so I get it, so it's kind of like a, you know, it's kind of like, oh, okay, I get it, but it's at the same time, like, especially this gun contest, they were, Jalen Brown, come on, man, <laughs> come on, man, like, some of the stuff was just corny to me, all right, you know, he, he, he was going off the fact, or he, he tried to, uh, He tried to go off the fact that he can't, you know, people like to say, like, he can't use his left hand, so he dunked the ball with his left hand or something. Like, and he had, like, a, I guess a, 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 a Michael Jackson glove on his left hand. Like, come on. Like, that stuff is corny, bro. Like, nobody want to see that, bro. <laughs> nobody want to see that, bro. Like, <laughs> and then he tried to do the, uh, forgot his name was it was his name um d brown i think back in the 90s he was a celtics player right so he's i think he's playing homage to him by doing one of his um covering his uh his face with his, his forearm dunk and he didn't even do it correctly like come on <laughs> shit like this is like why we don't care about the dunk contest the dunk contest is irrelevant this is the only way the dunk contest would become relevant again like we want to see players in a dunk contest, dunk contest that actually matter. We don't want to see random people 
that we don't know, bro. We like to see people that like that are top, like top twenty players in a dunk contest. We don't want to see irrelevant people. I guess Jalen Brown, you could say Jalen Brown is a, is, a, is a relevant player, but other than that, everyone else was irrelevant. We don't want to see that. We want to see, like, for example, like back in, like, I guess you could say 2010, 2011, it would have been nice to see Derrick Rose and Russell Westbrook in the dunk contest. That makes sense. Like, regardless if they're good dunkers or not, but that that's what makes it exci exciting. We want to see our best players go against each other and see who could win. Like, that's what would make it exciting. We don't want to see random players, like, that we don't care about in a dunk contest. But then again, you got players now, they're so, I guess some of them are so, they got so much pride and ego, they don't want to lose, but they don't want to look awful in front of everybody. Like, it's like, mess their, I guess you could, you could say their brand or whatever. I don't know, it's just, you, some people can call it, like, ego or being a, a diva, but whatever. But um, I'm, I'm thinking that's why you don't see that much, uh, like um, star players in a dunk contest anymore or even now. So, like, it would have been nice to see somebody like like John Morant and Zion Williams in a dunk contest. Like, whether they can invent or do something like we never seen before, but it still is more. You still will get more eyes, more excited for that. You get what I'm saying? And so that's my solution to that. But at the same time, I, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know if the dunk contest could, can be repaired. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it could be repaired. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, there's no, it's, it's very lackluster. And then the judges, it's like, they don't know how to, uh, they're like, they're like up and down with the scoring. They don't know how they want to score it. They like, uh, I don't know, man, but, um. That's just, that's just my thoughts, little thoughts on that. I'm going to be honest, the best thing of, of All-Star Weekend, and which I will continue to watch, and it's been like that for the last couple years, is a three-point contest. Like, that's entertaining. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's entertaining. I'll watch that. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no problem with that. You don't have to reinvent that. You don't got to uh, change the wheel on that. It's always going to be entertaining. You get what I'm saying? Like, you, because you literally have the best shooters in the NBA, in the three-point contest. So, like, that is always going to be, you know, interesting or um, fun for the fans to watch. Uh, I think it's been like that for the last couple of years. Like, that, to me, is the best thing of the all weekend, including the dunk contest, including the all-star game. I really feel like they should switch, switch, uh, change the order. I feel like the three-point contest should be the last for now. Like, it doesn't have to be the dunk contest anymore because that's not exciting. That's not exciting. The last thing we should be watching of Saturday night or All-Star Weekend, like, just, you know, the events and all that kind of stuff, it should be the three-point contest. Should not be the dunk contest. We don't want to see that, really. We don't want to see that. We do not want to see that. Um, I also thought it was really in pretty interesting that... um. Steph Curry, he was in a three-point contest with the best, I think, the best shooter in the WNBA. And um, I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, he won, obviously, so that was kind of like, you know. I, I thought it was kind of funny because, um, <laughs> I don't know. They, I don't know. I, I do think a lot of people were rooting for... Um, the WNBA player. Um, and when she got 26, that was a pretty high score. And I, I, I felt that was solid. I, I could see that Steph Curry was a little, little nervous. Like, yo, I better win this. Um, and he did win. He had 29. Um, I could read through the energy, energy a little bit. She was kind of pissed off because I know she really... She really wanted that win. I ain't going to lie. You could tell it. You could, you could feel the energy. And it's crazy. That, that was Steph Curry can shoot because in the three point contest for the for uh for the NBA, um the highest score was like twenty six, and they had like multiple rounds. So you had players going back up multiple times that didn't get more than twenty six. 
Steph only sh had one round with that with the, um, one round with that uh, the WNBA player, and she he only had he had twenty nine, so he beat everyone score like the whole night with just one round. That shit was crazy to me, but um, yeah, but yeah, the three point contest is like the best to me is the best um. It's the best thing of the of that weekend and, and the night too. But um, and then now we get to the All Star Game. All Star Game, man. This is why I don't. This is this is probably why I don't fuck with the. I, I just it's hard to watch the NBA right now. This is probably why it's so hard to watch the NBA because it's like. No one even plays, bro. Like, it's a waste of game. Like, I didn't even watch any of the game. I just all came home, and I just saw the final score. It was 211 points to 186. Oh, my God, man. I remember a high score in the All-Star game back in the day was, like, 120, 125. Like, I remember vividly, like, if you had 120 points, even 130 Push 140, like, was a high-scoring game for the All-Star game. Now, this is probably the highest-scoring All-Star game I've ever seen. Or seen the final score, because I didn't watch it. 211, like, what? This shit is crazy, man. It's, like, it's ridiculous. Like, it's not even a game, man. And it's indicative of what we see of the NBA today, the product of the NBA right now. Like, it's, it's so, like, it's watered down. It's so, like, it's not competitive at all. Like, and I'm gonna talk more on that, like how how the game of the NBA is so watered down. Even, and I'm gonna touch on that in the other topics. But this is indicative of it. Like, a hundred, like no one players not playing no defense. It's like, bro, they could do away with that game. We don't care about that, bro. We don't. We don't. Like players don't come to play. Players don't come to play defense. It's just like, bro, it's a waste. It's a waste of game. And I and I can I can guarantee you without even knowing the numbers of viewership, I could tell I, I can guarantee you the viewership and numbers on this whole weekend and then and that game is very, very low. And they're gonna have to do something about it. If you wanna if you wanna continue to make the revenue and continue to prosper as a corporate um like as a corporate um entity or business being put on tv because you know they they got they got contracts with you know different networks they got to bring a better content out they got to find some way to make it this product better because it's not the product that they're giving us it's not good it's not what it is it's not it's not it's not it and i think viewers are seeing more and more every day viewers are seeing more and more every day that like the NBA is not what it is anymore, and it's it is. I can guarantee you, it's 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 showing in the numbers. It's, it's responding into the numbers that they're getting. But yeah, that's just my thought of the, of the of the whole weekend. The best part of the weekend is the three point contest, and everything else can just go away with it. I don't really care for it, man. But that's just my thoughts. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all.